This is week seven of my pregnancy, and I think hooray that we can find out we're pregnant so early, but it already feels, I know I said this in the last video, it feels like I've been pregnant for like three months already, uh, but it does, time seems to slow down when, for me, at least for me, and it feels like I've lived with the news for a while and it's become very real. At the same time, you're this newly pregnant, there's not a whole lot that's different except, you know, that you're incredibly emotional and you feel sick. Uh, some of us more often than not, and I'm sorry if you do, if you're feeling really yucky and you're feeling tired, your nipples are sore. Okay, so maybe there's a whole lot of different ways that are telling you very clearly that something is different in your life. Um, but that is, that is really going along with a lot of other things that I'm feeling right now in my life that I think happen to all of us pregnant ladies. It's that feeling of transition. And I mean, that just big flashing red lights, transition, transition. And being in transition, I think, from a motherhood standpoint. So you're pregnant. You have nine months or 10 months of a transition period until the baby arrives. And it's an awesome time. I love pregnancy. I think pregnancy, at least from my personal experiences, is awesome. I know for some women, pregnancy totally sucks because you feel sick all the way through it. It's painful and it's just not fun. Um, I, I, I do not know what the percentage is. I am sorry if that is how you're feeling. That sucks. But in this period of transition, I mean, you are, you are a mother, but you're not. I am very much a mother. I have three little people already, but with this new one, it's a period of transition. For me, I'm feeling in transition about lots of things. My work, uh, my family, we, we're talking about rearranging a lot of different things in our lives. Uh, and not just because the baby's coming. That's just, that's just another, that's another thing. And this is what I want to talk with you about, about transition. I was reminded of a time in my life where I felt very much in transition, trying to figure out what in the world I was going to do with myself. And I, had, I was in an amazing spot. I was with a, working with a theater company in Scotland and I was touring around and I, I could go walk in the highlands and the misty moors and oh, it was phenomenal. But you know where my head was? In transition. I, I just kept thinking about, I just don't know what to do next. Oh, what am I supposed to do next with my life? And I was so caught up with that, that I was missing the moment, I was missing the joy in where I was. And I was just, yesterday I was on a walk and I was thinking about a friend of mine who was in major transition, who had left a job that they had studied for uh, all their life and then now, they didn't really know what to do. And so the time that they had between what might possibly be happening next was, I mean, a painful time of transition, but trying to make the most of it. And where I feel that personally with work right now, work and f family and just really, I'm reminded that, yeah, transition kind of sucks. But at the same time, life is happening. And life is happening now. And my kids are my kids are outside playing. What am I doing right here? I need to be outside playing with them too. But my my husband's with them. Don't worry. I don't let my kids play outside in the street by themselves yet. But the point is, is making sure that we really enjoy what we've got right now. You know? Yeah. I don't know what might happen tomorrow. I don't. But worrying never made your life a lick better, did it? It never made my life any better. So stop worrying, okay? Because it's gonna work out. I firmly believe that as long as you are moving in a forward direction and that you are moving in a positive direction and that you are moving towards goals that are gonna bring happiness and joy and are fulfilling a passion 
and that also have some logic to them. Sometimes a little bit of logic does help. Uh, that as long as you're moving in that direction, things are going to work out. You need to grab those moments. When we decide to move in a positive manner, positive things are going to happen. If we are, if I get myself stuck in like, oh gosh, turn into an Eeyore, I don't know. I just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Somebody, somebody tell me what to do. And I feel like that a lot of times. Sadly, I do. Just, I just want the answer. And don't we all just want the answer immediately? But we got to work things out. It's like the butterfly. That poor little guy, he's a caterpillar. He gets, makes himself a cocoon. We don't see what's happening inside, do we? We do not. But while he's inside, there's some gross, nasty, weird stuff going on. That is called transition, my friend. And then he's got to bust out of that cocoon, and he's a freaking butterfly. And how awesome is that? Okay, so if you are in a period of transition, just think about that weird, gooey caterpillar going through that stuff. Butterfly in the end. And that it's okay, and it's a necessary thing. A caterpillar can't go, I think tomorrow I'd like to become a butterfly. Shazam! Ta-da! Happened. It doesn't work that way. We gotta, we gotta work through stuff. And life has to happen. Transition. Another thing I want to talk about, this is something that has always been an issue with me with every single one of my pregnancies. And I kind of would like to solve it with pregnancy number four. Body image. Hello, ladies! It is a bit of an obsession of ours, isn't it? How we look. Well, so one of my other jobs is I'm an actress. I do a lot of commercials and stuff like that. And when I'm pregnant, it's kind of like, well, there goes that work. No one's going to want, like, if when you start to look bloated and you start to, and round, it just looks like, girl, she needs to work out. And it, it makes you feel really bad about yourself. It's like, I'm having a baby here. Can't you tell? No, you can't. Hmm. Okay, well, having to let go of that. But also, here's the thing. Not having to gain so much weight. With my previous pregnancies, I gained an average of 30 to 35 pounds. That's not a lot. But I'm thinking back to various articles that I've read, various books that I've read. Women, ladies, I think we're gaining a whole lot more weight than is necessary. And I don't think it. I know it. And when I hear friends of mine say, hey, oh, I gained 50 pounds with my baby, it's like, what the heck? You had one child, not a horse. And I'm sorry if that sounds rude, but the point is, is we're not taking care of ourselves. And hey, I'm raising my hand to this. I have used pregnancy as an excuse to eat whatever I want. And it's like, oh, finally, it's a chance where I can get big and round and people will will bask in the glory of my belly as opposed to, oh, you need to work that, you need to go on a run or something, go walk that off. Uh, so, in talking about body image and pregnancy, my goal for this baby is to not not gain weight because that's retarded, but is, you know, I'm, th I'm so thankful for having a plant-based pregnancy this time around and to have a plant-based lifestyle because on a daily basis, I don't have to worry about gaining weight because I'm not eating high oils and refined oils and I'm not eating, I'm trying to do low sodium and to be refined sugar free. I have a confession, sometimes I have a treat, you know, sometimes we'll have a pancake breakfast. But it's keeping those things to a minimum so that it's only a, a 5% or a 2% or even a 10% and that the rest of the time, the 90%, the majority of the time is the healthiest food that you can do. And with that, you're not going to be gaining all the extra weight. And that's so exciting because then that means after the baby comes, when you're just trying to, all your energy is spent in taking care of a baby, you don't also have to like, oh, well, now nah, so I gotta get back into the gym because you're not going to have 20, 30, 40 extra pounds to lose after that. And how exciting is that? So, body image. And, yeah, not having, not, not being prisoner to baby weight. Amen to that. I am so excited about that. <sighs> yeah. And then, lastly, confession. 
So, okay, I'm getting evening sickness instead of morning sickness, and I tell you, I have just been craving noodles, regular noodles, like spaghetti noodles. And I know with a whole food plant-based diet, it doesn't quite jive. Now, it's not the worst thing you can possibly do. And whole wheat noodles are so much better for you than regular noodles. Screw whole wheat noodles. They taste gross. When you're nauseous, you don't care. You want saltine crackers and ginger ale and spaghetti. Um, so I've been cutting myself a bit of a break and I've been having some multi-grain bread, like toast in the evenings. And I've been having rice noodles um, still, again, trying to keep the uh, lower sodium. Yes, I have had some stuff with salt. Lower sodium and no refined oils. But you know what? You just, I think as long as you are doing what you can do and your aim is to try to be as healthy as you can be, I think we just need to be kind to ourselves. I need to be kind to myself. You be kind to yourself as you are you know, whole food plant-based is still a little bit out there. You can't really go out to, I went out to eat with a, a, to lunch this afternoon with a friend and I mean, it's hard to find those options unless all you're eating is the garden salad and frankly that gets boring. So we do our best and that's awesome. I am so excited about you doing your best, me doing my best, because that's the best that we get to do for our babies. And that's amazing! Congratulations on growing a human. That's a pretty darn exciting thing. You're productive and you don't have to even do much. You just have to be alive. Yeah, it's pretty awesome being a woman. So, that's me at seven weeks, struggling with morning sickness in the evening, uh, and trying not to be neurotic about my weight and transition. It's life, man. Please make today, do something special today, something that makes you happy, something that makes somebody else happy, because that's going to make you happy. I'm going to go put my thinking cap on and see what I can drum up for my kids. <laughs>